Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph or bitmap or whatever it is. And they've tried to do it with the blend tool, but they get some weird stuff in the middle. And I've tried it the way they did it. And I come up with the same thing. Now, this looks like a elongated oval or an or ellipse. But I'm going to show him how to do something. Uh, just draw a perfect circle, an ellipse, put it in the center of the page, hit P. And then let's set our nudge factor on like, well, four inches would be good. Let's get this out of the way. And let's fill that in with an orange. And let's nudge it out of the way twice. And let's fill it in with a yellow. And let's nudge it out of the way twice. Now we can actually get rid of these. We can actually probably bring these back in. One thing that we can do is we can take a two point line and make sure you go from the top to the bottom on both of them. And then move these out of the way because you won't be able to grab these if you don't. Now we can take this one and go over and right click yellow, go over here and right click that burnt orange, select both of them and go to effects and blend. And I'm gonna blend them to the max, which is 999. And then put this back and look at that. You don't have that messed up. Now you do have a, a wavy pattern because the fact that it's pretty far stretch and it's pretty big. Uh, if you don't have to go that far, if you reduce this in size, let's just go backwards and let's move this one over so they won't be so far apart when we, no, you know what? We can take this, this is a hairline. Let's make it like a four point line. That should help because that won't be the individual lines. And normally when I do blend, I do that. You know what? Now let's move that line back and see if we get a better blend. And if we look at it really close, it's a good blend just because we did that. Put that there, that there. And I don't know what it's for or what logo it's for. And, you know, of course mine is bigger and, um, he's got, he's got a red and an orange, but you could, if you needed those same colors, let's just do that. If you needed to look just like that, let's move that out of the way and that out of the way. And you know what? Let's go to see if this works. Go up to object and break the blend apart and try to get that last line. Nope. Um, you know what, it'd be easier just to start over. Um, Cause we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need to get that color. So let's do this, let's uh, draw our lines back. And when I said a while ago, make sure you go from the top to the bottom on both of them. You don't have to go, you can go bottom to the top, but do them the same. Because if you don't, you'll get a weird effect on the blend. See, I can move that out of the way and grab that blend. Now, let's go ahead and make them both a four-point line. Now, but we need to grab these colors. This is easy because this is something you can do with the Smart Field tool. Uh, grab the Smart Field tool and grab your eyedropper and grab that orange and put it there. Get back to the Smart Field tool, grab that red. See, it's red all the way and put it there. Now we need to do the same thing to the lines, but we can't use the Smart Fill tool on the lines. But if we hit F12, there's actually an eyedropper on, on that too. So let's go uh, get the eyedropper tool, right click and get that color and put it over there and say, okay. Now that should be the same color. Let's bring it over. Well, you know what, my, you know what, that was, that was on top. So I think that's the true one. 
Yep, that's more like the original. Now take this color, hit the F12. This is about the only way I know. So select, select the line is what we needed to do a while ago. And then F12, and then get the eyedropper tool and get that orange and then say, okay. So that's orange. I might've messed this one up. Select the line. I don't think I did. Hit F12, get the eyedropper, grab a sample and say, okay. That way you don't have to select the line. Now let's take both these and let's blend them and then move this back. This is where the nudge factor is really, see, I had a yellow underneath here. Now, if we put a light gray box around that, that might be a little bit dark. Take away that line, go up to object. And I don't know that it's gonna have a gray. I mean, I think mine is actually a little better with the blend, I think. Um, this, you can almost see the blend. This, you can't really, well, you can, but it looked pretty pretty good. It might not be as red. Maybe I messed up on the red. Um, but anyway, he can figure that out. But I, don't, I do not know what's happening right there. What he's doing there, he's just blending the two halves. And if we take this down and this down and select, Let's go ahead and take them down further and then select them both and blend them. Okay, see how the one of them created differently? So we need to turn it over, even though we just smart filled it. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but we solved the problem, hopefully, and he'll be able to do that. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.